Hey guys, so I am back with yet another haul. I know how much you guys love it. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Let's hope I don't forget to hit resume again. Huh? Okay. Yay, I remember to hit resume. Okay, so first up is this Sephora by Formula X. And this is called Opposites Attract. And I believe it is a textured because it does say effects nail color. And so it's this pretty grayed, taupey color um, with all of this gold glitter going throughout. Kind of sheer. Okay. So let's go ahead with opposites attract. First coat. And again, it is kind of sheer. Okay. Next up I have this one is called Cherry Blossom. And this one is also a Formula X. And it's a baby pink glitter mix with little flower glitters. And that's all it is, is a matte pink glitter. And, I mean, those flowers are coming up. You can see them sliding down the side there. They're just, um, heavy. So... Okay, let's go ahead and give Cherry Blossom its swatch. This is meant to be a topper, guys, so it's not going to show up very well on, you know, alone. But they are there. <laughs> Next up is Sugar Plum from Revlon Top Speed. Where did I get this? I don't remember. I really don't remember where I got that from. But it's this pretty purple. Where the hell did I get this from? Um, oh, I think I got it from Kmart. I think it was a clearance item at Kmart. And so that's what it is. It's a nice plum shimmer color. I'm assuming plum since they named it sugar plum. So here is one coat of sugar plum. It is a very sparkly, shimmery polish. And if you do one thick coat, it can go out opaque because I think I did that on my swatch and it was pretty opaque. So next up, I have, and I hate these, and I'll only buy these if they're on clearance. <laughs> These are the Moon Candy, and I bought two of them. Purple end, and then a glitter end. This one is called Orbit, and I did wear this, and you can check my Instagram for that. Now, I really think that they should market these <laughs> um, creams, because they are super duper opaque. So there is the cream. Okay, so I'm going to do the cream, and then I'm going to come back and do the glitter so that the cream has time to dry. Okay, so there is the base color, which is a very deep, dark purple for Orbit. Okay, and I only have to do one coat, so when I come back for the second coat is when I'll do the glitters on them. These are on clearance, so that's why I bought them. Here is this one, and this one is called Galactic. Okay, and this one has a navy blue cream. It's almost looking black on camera. Okay, so there is that. And you can tell it's blue just by looking. This one, I believe, is more of a Corelli formula. But here is one coat of the base color for Galactic. Okay, 
Okay. And again, on the second coat, I will come back and put the glitters. Next up is, um, where did I get this? I must have got this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and I saw it on somebody's YouTube, and I loved it. This is a Nicole by OPI, and it's called Listen to Your Momager. And it's this beautiful blue. And you've been with me now for a while, so you know how much I love blue. And this one, there was something so special about this one. I don't know what, but I needed it. I needed it in my life. Beautiful. Shimmery goodness. This is almost ranking up there with Color Clubs Williamsburg, which I don't think you guys have seen the video on yet. But when you do, you will understand what I mean. So there's that little tidbit that you guys have to look forward to. <laughs> there is one coat of Nicole by OPI Listen to Your Momager. Now these next three, these are um, independent polishes. So um, I don't know what to say about these. Um, I'm kind of yes and kind of no on the brand. I, I just, I don't know. Okay, this one here really has me disappointed. And I don't know if I need to put it over a black base or what. But this is from Ms. Sparkle. And I will, of course, put her link to her uh, website down below. And this one is called Sinbad. And this is like a brownish colored base with a green shimmer and some gold glitter. And then it looks like there's flakies of different color in there as well. So, again, I don't, I don't know if I need to put this over a black base or what. And there's the brush and there's some of those flakies. <sighs> okay, so let's give it a swatch. I think actually this one on the swatch alone looks like poopy. But there's one coat of Ms. Sparkle. Sinbad. Okay. <laughs> Next up, I actually saw this on her Instagram and she had made this for somebody. The one that she made for somebody had hearts in it though. I didn't really like the hearts. Check that guys. That is Cloud Glitter. And she sent me a little baggie full of them as well. Clouds, guys. Cloud freaking glitter. Are you kidding me? That is exactly what I said when I saw that. And it is beautiful. I love this one. And it's called, Of Course There Is Sun Behind the Clouds. And naturally, the clouds. And then the little yellow round glitters for the sun and then there's iridescent glass fleck and blue shimmer and it really is beautiful I'm going to give it a good shake okay there's the brush then now the glitters are really kind of hard to come out that's the thing that disappoints me about it so there is the base anyway very pretty. I mean, I do love it, but the, that's the one thing that disappoints me about this one is that the glitters and the um, the sun glitter and the cloud glitter are so hard to come out. So now for this coat, it's the first coat and it is sheer. I am going to put it upside down, hoping maybe some of those glitters come to the come to the bottom. Next up is another one from Ms. Sparkle, and it's called It's Not That Charming Prince. Okay, and this is a blue jelly with a pink flaky in it. This one is very pretty, too. Okay, and there are those pink flakies. Okay, I'm going to give this one a good shake, too. Okay, so here is one coat of It's Not That Charming prints. Okay, 
Now, Miss Sparkle Polish is from the Netherlands. It took roughly uh, maybe maybe 10 days to come to me in the States. Maybe. That might be a lot, but I think it didn't take too, too long, so I was happy about that. Okay, so let's go ahead back now to the Formula X, and this is that opposite to track, and it does dry kind of somewhat. I'll be back. Okay, sorry guys, I thought that was work, but it wasn't. Okay, so here is opposite to tract. And as I was saying, it does dry kind of textured, but it's not all, it's not like pixie dust textured. So, but it's very pretty. <laughs> okay, and here is cherry blossom again. I still didn't get one of those cherry blossom flowers. It's pissing me off. You know, I do. I love all of these shapes of glitter. But I really wish that they would make it a little bit more easier to come out. You know, so there. I wanted to get a cherry blossom for you guys. There you go. Okay, so next up is the Revlon Sugar Plum. And again, this is so super sparkly, and it is a top speed polish, so it will dry fairly quick. You can see all them sparkles in there. Okay, so now I have the Moon Candies again. So there is the purple that we have the base down for, and here is the glitter. I'm also not a fan of these flakies, because they aren't... <laughs> They don't lay flat. And you could see a whole lot of them going down the side, but I don't get a lot of them on the freaking nail. Okay, so here is the glitter for Orbit. And I'm weird, because I'm like one of those people who, if I'm going to wear a glitter, I want to wear a glitter. You know, so, I don't know. Okay, so here was the blue for Galactic, and here is the glitter. You can see it's kind of a little bit green, where the other one was more purpley and blue. Okay, this one might actually come out a little bit more, but you could see they're they're bigger pieces and they're more textured, and I don't like textured like that. But here is galactic glitter over the blue base. Okay, not as much as I would normally like, but whatever. Okay, here is the Nicole by OPIs. Listen to your momager. Two coats. And this one might actually need three. Because it does seem streaky. Okay, so there is listen to your mama ja. We are back to Ms. Sparkle, and this is Sinbad. And again, this is just an odd color. So I don't know if I need to wear it over black or what, but here is two coats of Sinbad. I mean, I guess it's not bad. Next up is, of course, there's sun behind those clouds. Hoping to get a cloud or a sun or a both. I think I got something. I got a cloud. Yay! I didn't get a sun, but I got a cloud. So the color does darken up a little bit more on the second coat. Okay. 
And there is that pretty cloud. I love the cloud glitters. Ugh, I think they're so cute. Okay, so here is, and this one looks like it dries matte now. So this is, it's not that charming prints. And this may be a topper. I mean, it's going to get opaque in probably three coats to be the color that's in the bottle. I don't like to use that many coats because it's a smaller bottle and I don't want to use it all up on one manicure. So I also need to shake it a little bit better because I could still kind of see some of the pigment that she used coming through. But anyway, okay, so here we go, guys. Here is Opposites Attract by Sephora. Okay, and yeah, it's a little texture, and not much. Okay, and there is Cherry Blossom. It's just a glitter topper. And it's matte baby pink glitters. Here is Sugar Plum. This is a Revlon Top Speed. I gotta get readjusted here. Hang on. Okay, so this is a Revlon Top Speed. And it's super shiny. Sparkly. Here is a Revlon Moon Candy. This is in Orbit. And look at all of those glitters just sticking out. I hate that. It's so bumpy. I don't know why I continue to buy these. Well, I guess because they're on clearance. And I think I'll have a use for the glitters. And I never do. But the base coats are opaque. One coat. Here is Galactic. And this one actually lays a little bit better. Here's Nicole by OPI. Listen to your momager. Here's Ms. Sparkle. Sinbad. Got a nice green shimmer in it. Here is, of course, there's sun behind the clouds, but not on this one because I didn't get any of the suns. But we got a cloud. And you can see all of those flakies in there. And the iridescent glitter. And then we have it's not it's not that charming prints. It's a blue jelly with pink flakies and it does dry on the matte side okay all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this haul this is the last one that I have at the moment um, hopefully there will be more and um, look how pretty that one is and yeah that'll do it for me and again um, I don't know if I said it at the beginning but what I have on my nails is the, oh, and they're so dry because it's finally so cold here, the Avon Vibe. And there is that. Okay. All right, guys. So I thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.